everyone. Um, I am still visiting um, my little brother at hospital. Um, he's doing okay, apart from mentally very shut down with himself. Very, I don't know why he's having like a sense of overload. Plus, being autistic and going through all this. It might be a bit traumatic for him, might be just be a little bit overloaded with sensory and the environment, people, things ha ha doing to him. Um, so he hasn't really talking, he's not really trying to talk, I don't, he hasn't really tried. Um, he's wanted a bit of survivor every now and then for himself. Um, he's moving his eyes around. Um, and the nurses do physio for him each morning to move his like muscles and joints around so he's not getting stiff. He's still being used a bit, stretched and a bit used. Um, I've been just feeling very bored. It's sun Saturday today and I'm just very bored. Staying here until Monday, so I've got another day of just being bored, completely bored. Because I went to visit him yesterday, twice yesterday, this morning, I went to visit once today. Um, I don't know whether to do like a nighttime visit with him, my mum, I don't know. I want to leave that and just do most of it tomorrow, my last day of visit tomorrow, so I could do some more tomorrow with him. Um, I'm hoping to get like a soft toy for him t tomorrow at the little shop, because I've seen something I might like. I'm hoping to get a little toy for him, like a little teddy, so he can have it bed beside his bed. Um, he saw me yesterday, yesterday and today, he did a bit of eye contact to me, so it's very hard for like eye contact with politics, which I understand more now. But I'm just feeling not, not talking, very shut down. Um, the doctor thinks he might need like another the skin draft, graft they did on his chest, I think they're saying that it's not taking, skin's not taking, it's not like healing, stitching together. So, they might need to operate again on that part, which is a little sad because he's been through two already and he's got to go through another one, hopefully. Um, Uh, he's got pink his, on his cheek, so that's a good sign, really. That is a good sign. Um, just very bored, really. Um, Wi Fi is not working on my phone here, so I have to probably upload these videos when I get back. Because it'd be a little easier on my data aspect. Um, just very bored. Really am. On a little TV they give give you with pre preview channels. It's like old movies and news and that's what you get. Um on his chairs you've got sleeping. They ain't that bad except from yesterday, last night and apart from you can't get comfy, you can't spread out. So it's a little bit annoying. I'm missing my bed as well. I really am missing it. Um, what else? The shower in the room doesn't work, so I probably have to have a shower when I get home as well. I'm just hoping like the train ride was really packed. When on the way here, it was really packed. We couldn't really sit down anywhere. We had to stand up here, and we booked our seats. We still had to stand up. Um, that was really annoying because we're standing near the toilet area and like everyone, everyone wanted the toilet and like it's really annoying. Um, my ears have to plate with all the milk, milk in coffees. The teas, I taste horrible here, so like tetley tea bags. 
before it was in PJ. You might have, might have been um, another milky food that is annoying. I kind of miss my milk free food, I'm missing my soya milk because my ears are starting to play up. There's two days, there's no second day of milk, and usually the second day is when my ears start to play up. And also the second day of coffee. I'm surprised to spend my coffee. I've only had two this morning. I'm not trying to have a lot of that because coffee does my anxiety no good. Any more like, for, usually I know my little coffee I usually can have when my when anxiety gets too high is free. But that's my limit. Any more like, if I have pretty free or any more than that, my anxiety goes very high and I have panic attacks. And I don't want that, especially not here, not right, right now. I'd rather do all that when I'm at home. I can like, I can deal with that then. Because I know how to deal with myself then. Um, and I don't have anxiety meds here neither. I just forgot to pack them. And I also have to ring dots up this week. Come in, I have to ring them up and let them know a couple of things. And I've also got to ask my doctor about something as well, so. Um, on Thursday I had like a phone Zoom sort of meeting um, with like battle scars, they deal with like self-harm, they deal with eating problems, they deal with recovering from that, um, working with your triggers. They deal with like sort of stuff like that. Um, on Thursday, I have to have my first one on Zoom. Um, I have been invited to go like f go face to face with them, with a little group as well. It's like the only thing I can use to describe it. It's like an alcoholic anonymous meeting. It's very much like that. You said you probably have to sit around in a circle and like say your name and why you're here, and, like. Then on like the on the Zoom chat we had to um say how was our week today this week. Um we had to like say like we're okay but we're hanging in there or oh, we're struggling and we okay though or oh, we're struggling we need help. Then we had to then they ask us like like two old ladies, they run the group, and they're quite nice, long, the nice ladies. Um, what I can say of them, I really put a lot of input in this meeting because I wanted to see what it's like, observe, and I didn't know what to expect really. Um, but I just wanted to observe to see how it's all like, and but when it comes to face to face, I've got to somehow travel. To that place, and I'm not looking forward to the boot rest. Um, but I'm still with my workbook to come from them, and the little badge they give you to say you're not alone, support mental health, awareness, stuff like that. Um, because they give you like a little workbook to work with, they give you like homework at the end of it for each person. Um, but everyone in group is dealing with the same thing. Maybe in different ways, but all dealing with it. Um, it's nice to know that I wasn't alone. That people are out there that are similar to me. and So, uh, yeah. I'm hoping to put a bit more input next time. Maybe not a lot of it, but... Just like gradually some, because usually I take a long time to trust to open up someone. Usually I do. I'm always like being like that. At a young age, I've always been like that. Sometimes it makes me hard to open up and trust trust one of my friends. So yeah, I'm probably not going to do a visit at night time with Jay. I'll probably do some more tomorrow. Probably make the most of it tomorrow. Just do some visits when I can, and in between what the nurses and doctors are doing with him as well, because. They do most of the work, they do a lot of care for him. I'm just hoping that he talks 
or just like says one word and that's it that's all he that's all we want for him um sorry you know before like before i came here i actually wasn't really i was worried but i didn't really probably this is really it's real but when you come here and you see him you just think it's all real you see that it just becomes not even more real last time this afternoon we did like a little bit of afternoon time and I almost burst out crying but I hold myself in and it's like no it's not time to get emotional because you write near Jay and he feeds from it um, he's very sensitive to emotions even I am sometimes, even I, and like, if like one of my family members are ah, feeling really low and they're crying and like, I feel for their emotions. So, it's been like a bit like an empath in here. Hello everyone, I'm still hospital last day today and hopefully go home sometime tomorrow. I don't know when. Um, I'm just so tired today, couldn't sleep last night. I just missed the time and so light there and I can see it was just too cold because they only give you like a very thin blanket and I couldn't get comfy tonight because my leg went stiff and so I couldn't really get comfy neither so that's a bad sign. Sorry, I thought the door was open. Um, but yeah, I'm just so tired. Looking forward to going home tomorrow. Probably by like late evening tomorrow, so can't wait for that to happen. Um, what else? Um, it is a hurting a bit today because of the milk. Um, I had a cup breakfast this morning for breakfast. Um, because the cafe downstairs do breakfast and lunch they don't do tea, they shut off for tea so yeah um, I'm just cold he is hurt and I'm just tired I still can't wait to go home I wanna have tea I wanna tea, coffee Oh good. It's milk. And it's also dietly so yeah. I want a cup of tea, I want a shower, I wanna get comfy and probably just go to sleep. Um what else? Is there anything else now? Mm. And I got hopefully a haircut this week, which I'm definitely not trying to move because I had to cancel the last one because I, I had to come here so yeah I also got a few shopping to do this week as well because probably like Wednesday time because I won't have time after haircut to go do a shop I don't think I can do it before I have to look at, look at what time the bus is really for that one. Um, what else? But yeah, I'm just missing my missing my bed, I'm missing milk free things because. But then again, it takes like once I like milk free milk, it takes about two or three days for my ears to actually settle down, and also. My stomach as well, because it's going milk free stuff, so. Other than that, I'm just like so tired. But yeah, I'm just like mentally and physically exhausted. I don't think I can do another day here. Which I'm glad I'm, we're going home tomorrow, because I don't think I can do another day. Without constantly draining myself, because I'm wearing, I'm actually running on like foams here and now, I'm just 
feels like so drained. Um, I didn't see Jade this morning, so I might actually do either an afternoon visit with him or an evening one at night time. I don't quite know. But I might think we're doing like a morning visit tomorrow morning as well. Before we catch the before we catch the train. I know that we are. Um because mum's got an appointment for her burns tomorrow. So I might as we're not going home until after that's done. Um what else? I'm trying to think what else to say really apart from I do hope Jay gets better soon and yeah, even when he does get discharged from here, he's still every either month or every few months you have to come back to do a another skin graft with him and to go through another surgery because skin and body grows as his body grows, skin grows so you'll need another one. Um, and the doctors do say that, as I said before, he's in time, he's late due for another surgery because the skin graft they did for him, last one is not taken, it's not healing, it's not showing signs of stitching together. But he's on antibiotics now to stop any infections that he might have, and they gave him like an anxiety drug as well that was stress but I do miss Jay talking he's going to the room and he feels like it just becomes more real I wish you could like hear his voice have a conversation with him I do miss that and the many times we me and Jay have like silly conversations with me and him and I do miss that because Jay usually comes up with see things and I usually Either end up laughing with him or just be silly with him as well. And yeah, he shows me the more with pictures he does. I do miss that. I'm hoping it will be a few weeks before he does start wanting to talk. Because usually when Jay gets poly, he usually takes him a while to come around. But. I'm hoping, because it's a big ordeal for him, being autistic and all and everything else, it's a big ordeal, and him being asleep most, most through it, his body hasn't really had, his body and mind hasn't had time to possess everything going on with him. I'm just hoping the surgery goes well for him and skin, the skin start, starts to heal and he starts talking again being just one word would be enough yeah so I can't wait to go home I really do I've had enough of being here now I just want to go I just feel like so drained, I really do. I try to see him have a nap, and that didn't really happen. I just feel so drained. I can't go comfy. I see you mentally just drained, and just want to go home to rest. I know, low free stuff. So yeah. Um. Woo! I went to the shop, I got a drink, a cold drink, and I got some juice, um, just try and have like less milk now, um, other than that, I don't know what else to say really, um, hopefully I can go out on Tuesday to do a little odd and end of food shop, but I'll probably do like a big deal on it. Big deal, like Wednesday, Thursday time. So I try and do Friday because I'm going to borrow from my haircut. So, oh, probably do 
try to do that at the same time for like a little sugar chop and sugar day with like small Edmonds to see me over until then um other than that nothing else been going on really um I still can't wait for to say goodbye to these shares I still can't go I should have bought a bed in here. But no, he didn't. Um, but yeah, I want to go home. Last night. Last day. Um, amazing. Bit of a mon here. Because we've got to leave the room by 11. Because if we don't leave by 11, we either get locked in or some of our stuff gets locked in and we have to get security to open the door, which we got to leave by 11, our room, so, mum's with Jay at the minute, and she'll probably go with Jay and then probably go, go outside to get some air, because CJ and like he is, takes a lot out of you mentally. It makes you feel a bit emotional. So, and then probably when you lunch time, then get some lunch. See what's on the menu today. Cafe doesn't really like, cost too much, really. Like this breakfast only costs like four fifty for breakfast today and at breakfast you get a free drink you get a free hot drink most time you don't get that option so the cup was nice I had mushrooms, egg, scrambled egg, bacon, sausage and I had a mocha today um, mochas are nice they're quite nice but the cafe hot drinks are better at the cafe than the vending machine vending machine hot chocolates are nice but the rest of them aren't as nice especially the same it is hot piss water coffee do doesn't taste that bad at the vending machine it's horrible but hot chocolates are nicer up there so I'll probably do that in the evening time have that chocolate because I can have like less milk with that as well um but all I've been doing for the past few days is seeing Jay um walking around the hospital of how much times walking around the grounds up downstairs waiting room putting like the apron gloves on because you have to do that to CJ to keep them safe um but yeah I know mum is hoping to move here to be close to Jay because even when he does get discharged as I said he still will need to come here for appointments and surgery and as well as that and doctors probably want to see how he's getting on um, but yeah, I'm just hoping Jake gets talking a bit at some point. That's his voice. He looks around the ceiling and looks around a couple of times and that's it, but every time I've been seeing him, he looks rather sleepy and rather just out with it. So, not a bad thing for him to be sleepy and tired and resting. He probably does most, most of the healing during the night when, you, when, there's, when you're asleep. That's good for him. But yeah. But other than that, nothing else has been going on with really. just as I said, I've just been bored, mentally mentally and physically drained. I really am now. My mind needs a rest. My body needs a rest. So I can feel refreshed. At the minute I'm just I 
don't feel like that. I really don't. I'm gonna go now. Hopefully you upload these videos when I get back. Tuesday time. Um